to Dr. and my classmate. My name is Yi Sing Ying, metric number 262330. And today I'll present about the regional development, a current issue on Vilaya Sabah and Sarawak. Sabah and Sarawak to be classified as regions following Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin's recent statement. Recently, the Prime Minister has said during his recent visit in Sarawak that Sabah and Sarawak are not states but something higher than that. And now I'll explain the differentiation of Wilayah Sabah and Sarawak with other Wilayah in Malaysia. And for the first one, the word Wilayah is being used in the context of the formation in Malaysia, which involves three regions that are Sabah, Sarawak and Peninsular Malaysia. In other words, Malaysia consists of three entities and thus Sabah and Sarawak cannot be equal to the same status as other states in the peninsula. The table shows the difference between Wilaya Sabah and Sarawak, Wilaya Labuan, Wilaya Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur, and Wilaya Putrajaya. And for the first one, according to the Malaysia Agreement 1963, Sabah, Sarawak, and Peninsula Malaysia are equal partners and hence have equal rights to revenues and policy making among others. And Sabah and Sarawak as equal as Peninsula Malaysia as three individual entities. Sabah and Sarawak as federal territories. And meanwhile, Wilaya Labuan. Labuan is not even a state and does not have the status of a state. And Wilaya Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur. The capital that can be administration directly by federal government, naming DPKL. And for the last one, Wilaya Putrajaya. Wilaya Putrajaya is the administration center of the federal government of Malaysia, which replaced Kuala Lumpur. And that's all for me. Thank you.